Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Marta here and I'm back to you with a very strange desk today. As you can tell, I have some alcohol on my desk, some vodka, I have some more alcohol, some wine and, and I have socks, I have some scissors, I have felt, I have some wool. That can mean only one thing. We will be doing today some Christmas gift uh, wrapping ideas. I hope inexpensive, I hope pretty fast and easy to make something for everyone, uh, even if you're not crafty. I hope to give you an idea that it's really fun and easy. Uh, this little thing I will tell you because it's uh, really, it's very traditional and the most known probably vodka in Poland, which is called Żubrówka, a uh, bees on grass, but there is another word for it which I need to uh, show you. Aurochs. Aurochs. That's the name of this uh, animal. Um, <laughs> The idea is to somehow decorate our bottle because many of us is giving vodkas, wines, in general alcohol as a gift and I think just a, a paper bag, hmm, you know what, we could do better than that I think. Oh sorry, <laughs> that's Hala's book that it's turning on itself. I have this grey felt. Obviously, if you know me, <laughs> you know that I love grey, so I had to pick it. And I have some circles. I'm not too sure what, what to use to cut it, whether the pencil will actually work if I'll be drawing it on top, but I don't think so. Mm, no, I probably will need maybe white, maybe white. Let me see if I have some, I have some white here, some white pen here. So let's see. Oh, mm -hmm. Not so good, not so good either, or is it? Let me see. So I have this white, maybe chalk would be good. You see, if you are, uh, if you are a sewer, if you're sewing stuff, you would definitely be able to <laughs> have those. Oh, I think it's actually soap as well you can use to draw on the material. I think I remember that from childhood. Anyway, let's try with the first one. We need to make a hat because what are we making? We're making gnomes, toppers that will go on top of our bottle. Yes, I think this is such a cool idea. I'm not sure if it's that easy um, and if it's gonna be pretty at all. Oh, look how fantastic. Now, so let's cut it. I have two here to um, I have two to two, two lay, um, layers, so let's just cut it like that. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, I can straight away cut it around actually. No, I think so. Okay, so let's see. I have bigger, smaller, and yeah, much smaller one. So I hope to to have maybe different sizes of those hats and see which is the best, which looks the best, I guess. So. Let me just cut those around. So my circle is ready and cut and I'm thinking that I need uh, to cut a line kind of going pretty much in the middle, I think. Am I right? So that's the way to make our hat. Look at this! Da -da! How totally cute is this? Now, I wonder if I make half only Yes, I can make half. Look, Marta, you are a smart girl. Am I right that if I have only a half, I still can manage to make a hat? And then you have two hats. So make a circle, <laughs> make two halves, and you are going to be super happy with having uh, two hats then. So that's... Ah, oh, Marta, I'm, sometimes I'm just impressed with my myself, honestly. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have. And oh, that's so cute! I just tried it on the on the. Let's just let's just uh, let's just glue it down a little bit, so that our hat will be in place pretty much. I'm I'm not sewing or anything. No, I'm gluing down and all. That will be fine. Don't burn yourself. Watch out your fingers when doing stuff with hot glue. Okay, so our hat is really ready, <laughs> and I ah, love it. Love it now. Let me just show you what's the idea. So that's the idea. Cute, cute. We have beard going there. So no worries, it's gonna be fine. I also purchased those hair, hairy thing. But if you don't have hair, I'm sure you can use 
a yarn. I bought that in Tiger. Um, and I hope to make maybe a wreath with it. I don't know yet. It depends how much time we have. Because I have so many amazing ideas with regards the Christmas. Look at that. Look at that. This is this is like happening already. Oh, I love that. Look at this. Such a cute thing, isn't it? <laughs> you know, um, you don't really need much now, as you can tell. <laughs> Odd, we can change the nose for the more red one. If I have more red, I don't maybe. Oh, pink one, it's cute as well. <laughs> so let's cut that. I really wish my hair to be pretty much long. Now, I'm not too sure how to now, to be very super honest with you, attach that to my, to my hat, but what I will do maybe, I know what I should do. I should have a little, I need a little rubber thing, yes. I have this little lumbandi thing, lumbans I think they called. So I have also our red, our red um, pomponis for the nose. Oh, they are quite old those lumbans, so they may not hold. <laughs> I hope they will. Anyway, you can make a shape of your own, however you like your beard to be. But I thought that would be so much easier to attach it to our hat when we have everything pretty much together. I think that's cool, isn't it? I think that's pretty cool. Now, let me just grab that. Now, obviously the back, where is your 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 connection? Put it on the back. And now, glue it down. There we go. Super easy, I think. You know what? I thought it's gonna be much more <laughs> stressful and difficult. Uh, it's not. Now, we can also use this cute pinky, uh, pinky pinky nose or the red one, which is the better one. Let me see. Red or pinky? Mm, yes, I'm gonna go for the pinky one, I think. So, there we go. Oh. There we go. And let's glue it down, so open that. Now it has to go a little bit in, in kind of inside hiding under the hat a little bit. Now you can add a little glue as well here. I'm sure that Emily would love this <laughs> tutorial with me making little gnomes. We still will make some gnomes, I hope. Soon, maybe. I hope. Because that's my last year wish. Oh, I like that. Look, you can make any shape. You can play and be a, a hairdresser of, of, of your gnome, 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 gnome. Now, what about if we add some little, have little pomponies? Mm, I have those little pomponies here and I was thinking to add it there, but no, I think it's too much. I think that's cute as it is. Unless we want to decorate a hat somehow. But anyway, let's just try and see first if it's matching, if it's actually fine. Now, one thing I noticed now, and I know that this works. <laughs> I love it. This is Irish cream, actually. Irish cream, It's it, this is not the original one, um, but the Irish cream, it's called Bailey's, and it's a beautiful for Irish coffees as well. Look, you can't see it like that. I hope, I hope you can uh, imagine this. I think it's just so cute. And you see, as well, this could be a decoration for the home when, when your guests are coming and you have few bottles of all kinds of drinks, soft drinks as well. Don't get me wrong, not everyone is into alcohol, oh, of course, and I'm not promoting this at all, but... I just figured that this is such a nicer way to present something that it's, you know, not for kids and all. So giving coverage for the bottle just looks cuter, it looks, I don't know, just better in my eyes. Mm, so let's make one more. It's obvious that I'm not a felter or anything because instead of cutting your felt, look what you can do. Just try to rip it, basically. And when you will start ripping uh, 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 apart, you will have this natural, um, natural looking beard rather than have to work around it. You see, we learn from mistakes. You know, I'm always saying to you that I'm not watching uh, others' videos too much so that I can just experiment and just even make those mistakes. I really like that idea. So we can just learn together, basically. That's what I'm thinking. So now, definitely, this is the way to go. <laughs> it's to, to rip from your felt. Now, before you start asking where did I buy it, I bought it off internet, like probably Amazon, uh, eBay, them kind of places would have. It's, um, uh, it's called, what's the wool called? It's 
uh, Merano? No, Merano, Mirano. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. It's just for felting, wool for, for felting, basically. Um, you will definitely find it because it's a very popular one. So, Merano wool, I think that's called. So, again, I'm gonna close it down with my with my little with my little thing here with my little bu uh, rubber rubber thing now there we go and let's glue this down oh so cute so cute i think i prefer the smaller hat still it's just you know also what i was thinking that what a fabulous idea for a little christmas decoration for um for what's the word for our christmas tree just because this is so cute you can seriously attach some something on top here and this could be like your your decoration your ornament for a christmas tree isn't it now definitely this look is more realistic now with the beard so i love that and of course gnome gnome without um a nose it's not happy and he's not gonna look like a real one so we need him to have <laughs> his nose of course now and there we go i think i'm gonna stick uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab some more uh, hot glue there and i will try to uh, try to attach some hair more so that this wouldn't be loose there we go so something like that i hope you can see it well so i think this one is fabulous now my favorite of all well no I love them all <laughs> but how totally cool is this let's try if it was gonna work it does work oh it's so cute looking so let's see them both together on the bottles those are super cute easy uh, inexpensive little things they could be toppers on the bottle as a, as a part of the gift or just a decoration for your home for your table if you don't have this super cool merino wool, I'm sure everyone has some yarn, some kind of yarn at home. So for those of you who have yarn and still wish to make uh, those cute gnomes, gnomes, I'm gonna show you how I could, how you could actually approach it, and how you could do it. Uh, it's funny now because Emily is. I'm not sure if no, I did. I did tell you already once, but I repeat it. It's quite funny because I'm sharing my studio with Emily now because she has recorded few two videos. She has her own YouTube channel, and now uh, I was uh, doing something else. In the meantime, she jumped in here and was recording her own video. So I had to push things on the side. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is pretty uh, strange to have her around you know uh, and to share the studio with the baby but with my baby but that's cool uh, I think it's it's nice so thank you already for all the beautiful comments that you have left on her channel she is on cloud number seven delighted with it I allowed her to read some of them um, yes, uh, I'm sure that many of you were concerned about the fact that Emily has her own channel, but Dad is the moderator of that. So Dad is actually reading comments and he's there more than me because I simply <laughs> have to look after my own channel. Uh, so yes, just so you know, uh, we are trying to, as much as we can, trying to keep an eye on the baby, on Emily. Now you have to, that's what I've done, I just, put, I just make this this uh, thing here on my hand I'm gonna pull it down now pull it down and I'm gonna try to just uh, with I didn't cut anything just here around going around and then I'm I'm gonna cut it and make a loop like like this close it down oh Hannah is awake <laughs> like this and just close it down look it's not gonna fall off because you have already we will already st uh, attach that and stick it with the glue but that's what you could do I think the yarn one it's also fabulous and I know that many of you don't have the merino, merino wool I'm sure most most of you don't I didn't I bought it especially for gnomes can you believe it so uh, I don't want you to go and spend again, you know, 
so try to use what you have and I think using yarn it's perfectly fine and also if you don't have the, the, the felt try to use try to use paper you know paper should be working fine as well now I'm gonna make a shape now I need my hot glue being closer to me I have to make a shape now for my hat uh -huh. and let me just open it up a little bit and glue it down there we go that's perfect that's perfect now be very careful with hot glue okay and now we can just attach this oh, I don't know my hot glue is very strange indeed it's making those noises so be careful and there we go <laughs> this is the super cute this is really cute and you don't have to worry that oh I don't have this special wool there you go you can try and do an experiment and use what you have guys around the house try that <clears throat> now have a look at this little dwarf little gnome oh he is so very cute isn't he look you can cut his beard to be a little bit more uh, straight and more pretty and even and that is so cute you have to say it where's the other one? Oh yes let me show you in comparison equally cute isn't it I really love both so that's definitely uh, thank you that's definitely finish and um, we're gonna finish it that I hope you liked it enjoyed it feeling inspired so go and make some gnomes for yourself <laughs> bye, bye.